Now I think we all agree that soy boys use skincare to look good. We all agree that people who eat a lot of sugar are gonna have worse skin and worse health than people who don't do that. Welcome to this video. I'm gonna today explain to you how to increase your testosterone while also being on a good looks maxing routine that doesn't lower your testosterone. I'm not a fan of long intros, so let's get right into the first habit, which is gym. Now, if you think you can achieve a good look without going to the gym, you are a loser, you're a pussy, and I think you deserve to look bad. I don't wanna bestow anything bad on you, I don't wanna swear or insult you, but going to the gym is not negotiable for people who want to look good. It should be the first habit that you do, and it should be the habit you put the most effort into. If you don't go into the gym, you're not gonna look good. I've put a training program in the description that you can follow right now. It's completely free. You need to click no links. It's just there in plain text. You can just screenshot it, put it anywhere you want, in your gym, on your home screen wallpaper. Like I said, wherever you want. You can send this to anyone, because I genuinely, genuinely want every man to look his best without having to buy fucking hundred dollar skin routines that are gonna decrease his testosterone. That's the first habit checked. It's gym. Gym is important because you sweat a lot in the gym. If you need to lose weight or have acne a lot, I recommend you do squats with heavy weight a lot. I, rec I, I just do 225 for 15 reps or something if I have pimples in my face. Because the analogy that I have is if I sweat, I lose them. Because you see, when you have this, there is there are chemicals in your pores that basically cause these skin irritations. And what you need to do is you need to get them out there by sweating. You see, your pores are like this. And let's just say there is a pimple there, like this. And what most people do is they just cover it up with a skincare routine, but it stays below there. And then it causes inflammation in your skin, which is of, of course bad for you. What we instead should do is we should sweat. And what sweating does is it basically makes the, makes the chalk, make, makes these chemicals that are in there while you can't see the pimple. It basically makes them get out, right? Without you seeing them, right? It makes them get out of your skin before you can actually see them. So sweating is awesome. I'm gonna tell you the next habit is gonna help you sweat without doing cardio or something like shitty like that. I don't wanna do cardio. You don't wanna do cardio. We both agree that bench press is enough cardio. <laughs> so just train heavy. Train the main two sweating lifts as I like to call them. So squat and deadlift. They are a full body heavy movement. I recommend you do them at least two times a week, each of them. So four times a week, you're gonna deadlift or squat uh, because you sweat a lot while you do them. And what is the next habit that I want to show to you is sauna. And sauna pretty much does the same thing because sauna makes you sweat in high amounts. And it does so without making you have cardio or something, right? You, you don't need to do cardio, which then lowers your gains. Because I don't know about you, but I don't like to feel small. And I always feel small when I do cardio. So fuck cardio, go to the sauna, sit down, have a chat with your body and just lose these fucking acne or fucking skin irritation, shitty pimples while you do so. Go to the sauna three times a week for 10 minutes at about 90 degrees is what I would recommend to a beginner. I'll put the sauna plan in the description of this video so you can also screenshot that and hang it in your own sauna if you have one at home or just bring it to your gym sauna so you know what to do. I'll put one for beginners and one for advanced people there so that you also have something to do when you feel like that's not enough and you don't just wanna spam sauna. Next habit involves a little bit of thinking. Is not being on a skincare uh, regimen the reason you have bad skin? Or is maybe the shitty food choices and your in cell life the reason you have bad skin is unnatural behavior the cause of this unnatural look that you have and 
should you then do more unnatural behavior that is even more unnatural to your skin to then defeat that unnatural behavior? Of course not. You should do repentance from this unnatural behavior. Behave naturally again. And we're gonna start with a natural diet. What is a natural diet? A natural diet is everything you can hunt yourself. And I'm gonna to explain to you what this means. Everything you hunt yourself means you have to imagine yourself hunting down the food you eat. Look at what you eat in a day. You can write down what you ate today and just cross off what you could see theoretically if you went to the places where it is in nature. In nature, could you hunt the food you eat? If no, which is like 99% of people, they can't do this, then you need to stop eating the foods you cannot hunt immediately and I know how hard this is I still kind of cheat quote-unquote cheat on this uh, regimen sometimes but I think every man should know this and this just takes a lot of the complexity out of the diet shit right you just think oh macros nutrients micronutrients protein carbs sugar what should I even eat what can I eat estrogenics blah 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 blah, blah. everything you can hunt yourself or that you can get yourself from the ground except soy flax and sunflower oil and olive oil and olive oil only if you boil it to um to like uh steaming so when it's steaming then it's unhealthy before that it's not because then it gets trans fats blah 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 blah, blah. basically don't use oil just use butter and don't use margarine but real butter everything you can hunt and then manufacture from that hunting yourself that is what you can eat. You could theoretically make butter yourself. You could theoretically make yogurt yourself. You could theoretically get milk yourself from a cow. You could theoretically go into the forest, track down an animal, kill it, eat it, and then you have and then you would have hunted your own meat. Am I saying you am I telling you to do this? I guess no. If you want to, sure you can. But just think can I hunt this food exactly the way it is and would I make it this way? If yes, it's healthy. If no, it's not healthy and you shouldn't eat it. Everything above this is unnecessarily complex for beginners to understand and even for intermediates to follow. You can't tell people, oh, you shouldn't eat too many carbs because then your face gets stuffy, but you also shouldn't eat too little carbs because then blah, 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 blah. Listen, eat what you can hunt and you'll be fine. To the next and last habit which is meditation studies have shown that stress which is associated with high cortisol causes skin irritations so it doesn't stem from that but acne especially acne can be triggered by high cortisol levels in your body which are increased by way of stress and the way you reduce stress is meditation we're gonna meditate now together for a couple breaths and then I'm gonna put you on a program for that Let's close your eyes. I said close your eyes, close them right now. And just breathe in very deep, as deep as you can. And then a little deeper. Hold at the top. And then breathe out. Breathe in again. Hold at the top again for one to two seconds and then breathe out again again breathe in one last time hold and then breathe out now you can open your eyes again isn't this good isn't this de-stressing your day, even if you don't think like it as stressful, is stress for your body. Modern traffic and as many humans as we see and as much information as we have in our day basically leaves our brain gaslighted and we need to make time for our brain to catch up again and to just have time without information coming in and with just being mindful on the breath. Now, how do you do this? You get an app called Medito, M-E-D-T-I-O. 
<laughs> I hope I spelled it right. If not, I, I typed it right. Just get that on the abstract. I'm gonna show you the icon of it. And you're gonna get this and you're gonna follow the courses on there. It's a completely free app. They don't even have a paid course on there. Like everything in this video is completely free. I just provide the information. You could theoretically find all the information that I tell you today on the internet. I'm just collecting it and combining that with my personal experience. You just get this app and you follow their instructed courses every single day for five minutes for one week and then you're gonna increase it to 10 minutes and then you're gonna increase it to 15 minutes or 20 minutes whenever you feel like it. But it's very important to progress slowly with this. And this is pretty much all we do. Do the things I told you today. Just trust me, the time is gonna pass anyway. You might as well do this. You might as well be productive. You might as well work on yourself and stop buying expensive skincare routines to cover up your bad habits. Because that's what it is. A skincare routine, the more expensive it is, the more you're paying to cover up your bad habits, your bad eating habits, your bad life habits, your bad gym habits, whatever. Whatever you need to buy outside the things that I told you today is not good for you and is just a cover up for bad habits. Have a nice day. It's getting windy and rainy. And be mindful, master your mind.